My name is Victor Kajimu. I am from Kampala, Uganda, and I'm a second year student here at Carnegie Mellon. My name is Agnes Nyambura. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm a second year MSIT student at Carnegie Mellon in Rwanda. For my internship, I was at IBM Research Lab in Nairobi. My name is Thomas Mutabazi Iyako. I'm a second year student at Carnegie Mellon. I'm from Kigali, Rwanda. My name is Kawoya Timothy. I'm a student from Chigali, Rwanda at the Carnegie Mellon University. As part of the MSID program, we do an internship in different companies in Rwanda and in the region. This summer, I did my internship with Pivot Access, uh, Rwanda's leading software company. I did my three-month internship at Zigama CSS, a Rwandan bank, where we worked on a core banking solution for them. They are able to get the value of having a customized solution that's tailored to their needs. During our internship, we had to do a market research in order to determine the, the target clients that we have specific to Kigali. We also had to do a design of the technology platform using cutting-edge technologies and techniques that are taught here at Carnegie Mellon. But we had to also bring these two together such that the platform was relevant in the local Kigali context. I worked in the water cluster and we were trying to do a research on creating a wireless sensor network um, for agriculture or a farming setup in the dry area. We were able to give Pivot Access a chance to outsource their work. What we did is we got those requirements and developed an Android app and uh, I think that allowed them to free up their labor resources to do other projects. We managed to come through with it and deliver on time. We were actually stationed in the KCB office. Occasionally we also had to get into the day-to-day -day tasks of the bank itself. So it was also interesting meeting a new team of IT people and doing a knowledge transfer from them learning how the bank works, what technologies that they do, and having fun together within the three months that we were on site. If I were to redo this uh, internship again, I would make sure that I nail down the requirements of the project, understand them, review them, and then I would go to the coding part. Like most coders, I tend to start developing and then go to the requirements, which is the wrong way of doing it. I learned how software companies run. I also got to learn how they give time and how you're supposed to schedule what should be done. And for me, that was the best learning curve that I could ever get. Being in the research lab, you interact with so many people from different environments and most of them are PhD level. They got me a bit interested into maybe doing a PhD. I always had this background overview, yeah, PhD, you become a specialist in something, but it kind of opened my eyes into how they approach problems. I think I'm motivated, I could think about doing a PhD right now.